Netflix is one of the top streaming services, with more than 220 million subscribers across the world. Everyone of course, knows how to navigate and use Netflix on different platforms. But what many didn't know is, there are a lot of hidden features and settings in Netflix, that you can use and tweak to enhance your Netflix experience. Let's start with the Netflix codes. Just go to netflix-codes.com. From here you will see a list of codes, that you can use to search for Netflix shows by genre. And this is a long list of detailed genres. To use the code, you can simply click a code here on the list. Let's try romantic comedies for example. There you go. A list of romantic comedy movies and TV series. Alright, I look good? Yes. Water? That came from your thigh gap? No thank you. Thanks for calling it a gap. We are catching up with some Another option, if you know a code, is to use it to a URL. For example, 947 for Monsters Movies. You can use the code for netflix.com slash, browse slash, genre slash, then the code, which for this example is, 947. There we go. We are now presented with monster movies list. Do note though that these codes can only be used in Netflix's browser interface. You can't do this on the app. By using these codes, you can easily find shows that you like, depending on a genre of your choice. Next, if you don't like previews auto playing like this. You can turn that off. Just go to the drop-down of your profile icon from the top right corner. Then go to Manage Profile. Select a profile you want to edit the autoplay with. From here, under the autoplay controls, you can disable the autoplay for previews, as well as the autoplay for next episode in a series. Disabling or enabling this always applies to all the devices where you'll use Netflix. Let's try to disable the preview to test. Then click the Save button. Now let's click Done. You will be asked to reselect a profile, to use after the changes. There you go. No more autoplay on previews now under my profile. But actually, as a personal choice, I do like the autoplay on previews, so let me turn that on again. The bees there it are is. Angry, it's back. But thankfully... Now, if you are watching Netflix on a PC, did you know that there are keyboard hotkeys for Netflix controls? Let me play something here first to demo. It is not allowed to record a Netflix show while it is playing, so you'll see only black screen here most of the time. If you want to skip the recap or intro of the show, just press S in your keyboard. Pressing arrow up or arrow down on your keyboard controls the volume. Arrow up of course, increases the volume, while arrow down decreases the volume. Then the left and right arrow keys rewinds or forwards the video by 10 seconds. Left arrow rewinds it by 10 seconds, while the right arrow forwards it by 10 seconds. To mute the whole video, you can press the M key on your keyboard. Pressing M again will unmute it. Pressing the space bar will pause the video. Hitting the space bar again will play it. If you want to watch the video in full screen, just press the F key on your keyboard. While pressing the F key again, or the escape key, will exit the full screen mode. Lastly, pressing the Ctrl, Alt, Shift and D keys, will show or hide the video information, like the movie ID, playing state, bit rates and all the other nerdy statistics, which mostly, I don't understand. But I chose to share it since I'm sure these statistics are important to some people. Now, to make sure that your data is not consumed by Netflix, from your Netflix app, tap on the profile icon in the top right, then go to App Settings. Under Download section, make sure you enable Wi-Fi only. If you only use a data connection, you'll need to disable this of course. You can also set the download video quality here depending on your needs. Higher quality of course, means a larger data usage, while standard or lower quality eats less data. Then, if you have a scheduled interruption of internet services, or maybe going out of town with low internet coverage, you can always download a show, then watch it later, even without the need of any internet connections. Just open the show, then go to its episodes and info. You will then see a download icon beside each episode. If you've already downloaded an episode, you will see a square check icon. Tapping the download will, of course download the episode. Once downloaded, you can now enjoy watching the show, even if you are disconnected. Thus go to the download section of the app, and from here, you can play all your downloaded videos. You can also turn on the smart download setting in Netflix, so that after watching an episode, Netflix will delete that episode you've watched, and then download the next episode on queue. This way, you will always have new episodes, to watch in case there's an unplanned internet interruption. For more data and video quality option, you can open your account settings by dropping down the profile icon again, then go to account. 
Then expand the profile you want to change, and click Change on the playback settings. Under the data usage per screen, you can select the proper option for you. If you have a cap on your internet subscription, it might be good to select the low settings which consumes only about 300 megabytes per hour. Otherwise, if you have unlimited data, then choose high and enjoy the Ultra HD video playback, but this will depend on your device as well, if it is capable to play Ultra HD. Personally, I just choose auto since there are five of us that can use Netflix simultaneously. So I let Netflix decide. When you made your choice, just click the save button to apply. Did you know that even those who are visually impaired can also enjoy Netflix? This is done with the use of audio description. You can find this from the audio setting of the video. Choose the one with the audio description. When this is selected, there will be a narration on what's happening in every scene. Let me choose a good example here. One of my favorite show in Netflix. The first scene of The Good Place. It has less dialogue and a lot of things to describe. Here we go. Is around a room. On the wall in front of Eyelids open under a warm light. A blonde woman in a flannel shirt sits on a couch. She glances around a room. On the wall in front of her are the words, Welcome, everything is fine, between two flower displays See here on when I choose the original audio, it has no dialogue yet, but then the audio description is busy describing the whole scene. a flannel shirt sits on a couch. She glances around a room. On the wall in front of her are the words, Welcome, everything is fine, between two flower displays on pedestals. She smiles. A man with stark white hair steps A really in. nice feature for the visually impaired. Subtitle can also be fun in Netflix. Let's go back to the account settings. Expand the profile where you can change the subtitle font. Then click change in the subtitle appearance. From here you can select other font face. Let's try cursive as an example. You can also change the font size. Let's choose the biggest size here. There's also a lot of option for font shadow style. Let's pick uniform. You can also pick a background color and a window color for your subtitle font. Let's select yellow and red for these. If you're satisfied, just click save to apply the changes. Now let's try to play something to test our new subtitle. There we go. A brand new style for our oversized subtitle. With the boys' education and training, as well as decisions of state. And speaking of regents, it seems we are only waiting... Now let me give you some tips on good keywords when searching Netflix. Searching for audio description brings up all the shows that have an audio description capability. As I've shown earlier, audio description puts a narration over the audio of the video that describes everything that's happening on each scene, which is helpful for the visually impaired persons. Next search keyword tip is Netflix. Searching the platform name brings up all the Netflix original movies and series. You can also filter them further by clicking on these links atop. My next keyword tip is interactive. Search results for this keyword are all the interactive shows in Netflix, just like the Black Mirror Bandersnatch. Interactive shows are those where the viewers can select where the next scene will go. The user will choose the path of the story they are watching. I always thought that Bandersnatch was only the interactive show in Netflix, but it turns out that it's also a big library now and mostly is for kids. You also have more filters here for the interactive shows. Next is 4K which brings up all the videos with 4K format. Or, you can also search for HRD which will bring up the videos with HDR format. Again, this will be dependent on your device, whether it can play up to 4K or up to HDR contents, so be mindful of that. For my last tip, let me give you some useful sites that can help you easily search for new shows and be aware of new releases in Netflix. First is Flixible.com. This is a great site, where it lists all the new releases in Netflix every day. Do note though that this is a US-based Netflix releases. Although most US releases sync with other countries, there are still some shows that are not available on certain regions. Next is JustWatch.com. This site has information on most streaming and online media, so you'll need to filter for Netflix first. From here, you can now filter by release year, by genres, by rating, and even by age rating. You can also sort the list by popularity, trending, and other options. It's a good site to easily find a show that you want. Lastly, if you feel adventurous, you can try the Netflix Roulette. By the way, all of the sites mentioned in this video are available in the video description below, in case you want to visit them. If you ran out of things to watch, this site can help you look for a new one. Just click the spin button and it will recommend a show for you. There you go. Furky. You have a few filters here for the recommendation, like the genre, movies or TV show or both, IMDB rating and real good ratings. Let's do a spin for TV shows. Here we go. Project MC Squared. I haven't watched it yet. Let's do movies and TV shows now. It has some ads popping up from time to time. 
Ask the story bots, I don't know this one either. Could be good. Alright. That's all I have for this video. I hope these settings, tips and tricks will make your Netflix experience more enjoyable. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.